So as I'm recording today's episode, it is a hot summer day here in New York. And it made me think this week of some ingredients that women are using daily, especially in the summer, could be if you're living near a beach or you go in the pool a lot, but you're using it daily and it has an influence on your ability to lose weight. As you know, we need a healthy endocrine system. This is part of our weight loss process. And when the endocrine system goes haywire, we potentially are, you know, feeling like we're on that hamster wheel and we're doing all the things right, but nothing is working. So let's avoid all the chemicals that do this so that we can lose weight with ease and we can have a healthy endocrine system. And believe it or not, the sunscreen you're using could be potentially causing this problem. So I want to dive into this episode today and just giving you some guidelines on what to look for when it comes to sunscreen, which ones to avoid, which ones you want to use so that you are protecting your skin, but not harming your endocrine system. It just goes to show you there's so many factors, right, that come into play when you're losing weight and trying to get your health in order. This is something I see when I speak to women, when they're looking to lose weight and they're like, why isn't this working? I'm doing all the right things. Sometimes it's about tweaking things. So if that's you and you're just still wanting to lose 20 pounds, let's have a conversation. Just click the link in the show notes to go to my website, andrealyn.com, or you can go straight there, andrealyn.com. Let's have a conversation about how the 12 week Trinity Transformation Program could benefit you. This 12 week program has gotten women to lose 20 pounds in 12 weeks, but not only do they lose the weight, they gain their health back and they gain a lifestyle that they've been looking for. So if that's you and you've been wanting something like that, then it's important that we have a conversation to see if this is a good fit. And if you're the one that's like, you know what, all I really need is to understand how to break free from sugar. I've been trying to do that. If I can get this sugar out of my life, out of my mouth, everything would change. Then that course is now available for you. Also, all you need to do is either click the link in the show notes or go to andrealyn.com backslash sugar and you can join the seven day break free from sugar through the power of the Holy Spirit. Either way, it's time to get you moving in the right direction. Hey, woman of God, are you sick of fad diets that only get you temporary results? Are you looking for a simple, foundational, faith-based weight loss framework that will fit into your busy day so it becomes a lifestyle? Are you ready to break free from binge eating, overeating, sugar addiction, self-sabotage, and the battle with your scale? It is time to let the chain breaker Jesus move mightily into your weight loss journey. I'm Andrea Lynn. I am so excited that you're here with me on Christian Women's Weight Loss. I remember what it felt like to be 75 pounds overweight, exhausted, overwhelmed, riddled with poor self-esteem, low self-image and unworthiness until I was radically saved by Jesus and he made everything new. With 20 years of experience and numerous certifications in fitness and nutrition, I'm here to teach you everything I know about food and fitness while making faith your primary drive as a busy Christian woman wanting to lose weight and keep it off. If you're ready to let the Holy Spirit transform you from the inside out while getting your body, which is God's vessel, healthy so you can rise up and live out the calling that God has on your life, you're in the right place. May the Lord give you ears to hear, eyes to see, a heart that's pleasing to him, along with a body that will be transformed for his glory. Let's dive in. All right. You know, we are surrounded by the evidence of God's beautiful, fantastic, I don't even know how to describe it, uh, craftsmanship. I mean, just look around at nature. It's, it's just so mind blowing and God created it all. And what's even more special is that God talks about the sun, S-U-N also in 
his word. Like in Psalm 19 verses 4 through 6, it says, God has made a home in the heavens for the sun. It bursts forth like a radiant bridegroom after his wedding. It rejoices like a great athlete eager to run the race. The sun rises at one end of the heavens and follows its course to the other end. Nothing can hide from its heat. If you read the book of God, the word of God, there's a lot that talks about God's creation and the sun and the moon and the stars. And we are asked not to make those idols, but just revel in God's amazing craftsmanship and what he has created for us to live with and under. It's just so beautiful. So my point of saying all that is sometimes I think many people are starting to fear the sun, but God created the sun S-U-N, also S-O-N, the son, his son of Jesus. But God created the son and we're not to have fear of the son. The son is there for a reason, just like he created our body. There is something that we get from the son and this could be a whole nother podcast episode, but I want to just highlight that your body needs vitamin D and the best place to get it, the most natural place to get it, where the body can actually absorb it, take it in and use it efficiently is from the sun. And there's so much more there. So I just want to say that though, because like I said, so many people are so worried about the sun, the sun, the sun, I'm just going to have sun damage. So get rid of the worry and the fear, right? God says, do not fear. And we are not to have anxiety. But just understand that he created the sun. Now we need to be a wise steward over our body and be wise in as far as how we need to maneuver and work um, under the sun because all of our skin types are different, right? So I'm extremely pale. It doesn't take a lot for me to get um, a good amount of vitamin D. If I go outside and spend like, you know, 15, 20 minutes, my skin starts to turn pink. That's a sign, okay, now I need to cover my skin because I don't want to burn it. So that's just something to keep in mind as we go into today's episode because like I said, there's so many women that are just lubing themselves in sunscreen and afraid of the sun where we're not supposed to have that fear. And there is something good that the sun provides in moderation. And now we just need to know with knowledge and wisdom what to buy and what not to buy or to avoid so that we can have not only healthy skin, but healthy on the inside. Remember, skin is actually your number one biggest organ. It's just on the outside of you. So you want to be really aware of what you're putting on it because it will affect the inside of you. So again, I want to share with you four different ingredients that I found in a lot of sunscreens that we need to be avoiding so that your endocrine system stays functioning optimally. And that way, you're not going to have the issues with the endocrine system, which will create issues when you're trying to lose weight. We want to keep it moving, functioning, right? The best way it can And given half a chance, the body will do what it needs to do. God created it to do that. Okay, but looking forward, right? Before you head out for some fun in the sun or you head out for your gardening or you head out for your walk or your hike, I hope I'm inspiring you to do some of those. (laughs) And you need to take a minute and read the active ingredients list on the bottle of your sunscreen. Studies have shown that many ingredients found in conventional sunscreens are absorbed directly into the bloodstream, right? Remember I said the skin is your biggest organ, and this includes toxic chemicals, and these are known to disrupt hormonal function. And as you know, if your hormones are not regulated, you're going to have some glitches in your weight loss. So this sunscreen could also be putting your weight loss journey in a place of being harder than it really needs to be. So like I said, there are four that I want to highlight because these four have been found to to be these endocrine disruptors. So the first one you want to avoid is oxybenzone, O-X-Y-B-E-N-Z-O-N-E. 
So this filters UV rays from the sun, but in the body, it can mimic estrogen and interfere with testosterone production and disrupt adrenal hormones. The Environmental Working Group recommends avoiding these sunscreens that contain this oxybenzone. Second one is octinoxate. It's spelled O-C-T-I-N-O-X-A-T-E. It's the most widely used UVA absorbing agent in sunscreen today. This produces estrogen-like activity and may also target thyroid function. This ingredient is readily absorbed by the body. So if it's producing this estrogen-like activity and then having an impact on your thyroid function, I'd say we probably need to avoid it, right? Number three is homosalate, H-O-M-O-S-A-L-A-T-E. It's another common UVB absorbing chemical that acts as an estrogen in the body. So another one. And with this one, when I was researching it, it says, you know, do you slather your sunscreen on and then douse yourself with bug spray at the same time? Because what happens is they were showing studies that this ingredient increases the amount of pesticides that we absorb through the skin, which then is allowing even more toxins in yikes. So if you could avoid that, that would be amazing. Number four are parabens. It's probably the the biggest one you've heard of before. Parabens are endocrine disrupting synthetic preservatives found in a lot of cosmetics and body care products, including conventional sunscreens. Okay. So parabens can be a little tricky to find on labels. So you need to look for ingredients with the names such as methyl paraben, propyl paraben, isoparaben, or even butyl paraben, but you get the gist. So it'll show up in these types of names. So you want to avoid the parabens. And listen, if I, I've already brought it up, but it's also found in some of the cosmetics and body products, probably lotions you're using, body washes. So might as well check those to see too. That's a whole nother podcast episode. <laughs> Don't want to overwhelm you. Let's just stick to sunscreen today. You might be saying, okay, I, I want to avoid these. I need a less toxic um, protection from the sun. So my advice to you is look for formulas as the active ingredient. Zinc oxide as an active ingredient will be good because this sits on top of the skin. It has little to no absorption and it blocks the rays of the sun, okay? It's basically sitting on top of your skin. You'll notice when I use this in the sun, like I'll put it on my first my first time in the sun in the morning, I'll put it on and I don't see it. But if I'm at the beach and I kind of keep putting it on, you'll start to see a little bit of white. But my thought is, is who cares if I look a little white because the zinc oxide is just kind of layering on itself because it doesn't get absorbed. So you'll start, like I said, to look a little white, but I don't know. I'd rather have good endocrine and hormone balance (laughs) and look a little weird when I'm on the beach all day and have this white tint to me. I don't know. The other option would be you can just put some layers on, right? So let's say you're at the beach or at the pool all day and you know, your skin has had enough sun. So instead of adding the chemicals, then put on a long sleeve, light cotton shirt or pants, things like that. I mean, good big brimmed hat, some good old fashioned clothes like that will work. I know it doesn't always look so fancy, but I'm sure we can find something fancy as women um, to look pretty and still protect ourselves from the sun. I don't know about you, but I'd like both. So again, those four ingredients are the ones you would like to avoid, the ones you're looking to avoid because if you notice overall they're causing an issue with your end in, with your endocrine system but it's it's a lot of messing with your estrogen and as you know estrogen is a driving force behind our sexual development it's how you know we get breasts and reproductive health estrogen also plays a role in bone metabolism cholesterol metabolism glucose metabolism insulin sensitivity And it's the way the body stores fat. 
So estrogen is also known to help regulate brain function and mood because estrogen plays such a key role in so many aspects of your health. It only makes sense that your body and your weight can be sensitive to any changes in estrogen levels, okay? And you probably know this, especially if you're a woman that's going through changes. This is all estrogen levels going up, going down. When estrogen levels are too high, this can trigger the body to produce more insulin. And this could lead to insulin resistance, high blood sugar, weight gain. On the other hand, when estrogen is too low in comparison to other hormones, this can cause the body to convert more energy into fat in order to keep estrogen levels in balance. So common symptoms of estrogen imbalance include the mood swings of this, insomnia, anxiety, depression, even infertility. So all of us will have a direct impact on our estrogen levels. And so again, we don't want to touch those, right? Like, God, you take over, Lord, you, you heal our body. You, I always say, Lord, let me go through this change gracefully, gracefully. The point is, is you don't want to indirectly start to affect your body and the hormones and the estrogen levels. And this is one way you can be in control of that. So just start to monitor what sunscreen you're using, what ingredients are in there. If you can avoid some of these that I've shared with you today, amazing. That's one less thing you have to worry about as a result of some health issues or your weight loss. Because if this is bring your body to an imbalanced place and you're on this journey and you're already hitting some obstacles, we don't need any more, right? Get that zinc oxide as an active ingredient, put that big brim hat on, put some loose clothes on during the day, whatever you need to do to avoid these toxic chemicals would be ideal. So I pray that this has brought some insight, some revelation. Maybe you've already got into your cupboard and grabbed your sunscreen and you're checking it out and you're like, oh no, I've got to throw these in the garbage. Yes, do it, would you? And just get something that is more natural for your system. It might be a little challenging in the beginning, but once you understand what you're looking for, it's going to be so much easier. And your body will thank you. Your body will thank you. And remember, don't be afraid of the sun. Just be wise and in moderation so that you can get what the Lord has put the sun in the sky for a reason. And you can get what your body is needing, such as vitamin D naturally from the sun in small amounts. And each one of us, like I said, has different pigmentation of the skin so some of us can be outside for a lot longer and not have to deal with that so just depending on where you are but the most important part is check your labels and go have fun in the sun it's a great way to get fit stay healthy okay let's pray lord jesus thank you so much for this wisdom and this truth that you've brought today lord i thank you that you show us all of the things that maybe we've been putting on our skin that isn't helping us, helping our endocrine system, helping our body in the way that we're needing that, Lord. So just reveal that to us, bring revelation to us in whatever way we need it, Lord. Thank you so much, God. Thank you for placing that beautiful sun in the sky. Thank you for the beautiful rays that come from the sun that have a direct impact on our mood, Lord. We know that when the sun is shining and it's bright outside, we feel more alive, more energetic. And we're just so grateful that you've decided to place the sun there for us to have that light, to light up the day. And we're so grateful that you've also put the moon in the sky in the night to light up the night. Lord, thank you so much for keeping our bodies healthy. Thank you for healing our bodies. Thank you for bringing balance to our endocrine system and our estrogen levels so that we can continue to have good health. We can continue to lose weight with ease and grace. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Before you go, if you have been transformed or blessed by this, 
please subscribe. Then go to Apple Podcasts and leave me a written review. It is the number one way that you can bless me and get the word out there to other women who are also seeking. Screenshot your favorite episode, share on your social media feeds, be sure to tag me, and I'd love to connect more often, so join my Facebook group. Until next time, remember God says in 1 Corinthians 10.31, so whether you eat or drink or whatever you do, do it all for the glory of God. God bless you, my sister in Christ.